are quite a duo. I think you're yeah. one of the most unexpected duos in all of everything. You for know? sure. <laughs> for yeah. sure. Gorgeous and then, you and know. You. <laughs> no, you know I love it. Everybody has their demons to sort of wrestle with. You look as if it hurts. I do? Yeah, you do. If you want to make me the bad guy, I'll be the bad guy. I'm absolutely uncomfortable. I'm just miserable right now. I'm not miserable. I just, I don't know. It's all I ever talked about in my house. Like, I'm going. This is what I'm made for. And then I was like 15 at the dinner table and I was saying, that same speech, I can't wait to join the military. My father goes, you're not joining the military. And I go, why not? He goes, because you're a <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a poor little Greek girl growing up in Manhattan by the name of Jennifer Anastopolopakis. <laughs> it hasn't been an easy road for that poor little roly-poly Greek girl. That's how you found out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, from a birthday party. He was quick. <laughs> there one minute and boom. Yeah. I think it was like ripping off a band-aid probably be easier that way than than a sit down and a whole, you know. That's probably why I wore so much makeup. I mean my mom like was, you know, wore makeup. What do you love about yourself? I love a lot about myself. Let me count the ways. Let me count the ways. I'm not a yeller. I like that. I worked hard on that. Remember growing up, driving to school. Yeah. My mother looking at me, feeling my mother staring at me. I'm <laughs> driving. My mother's over here and feeling, and then all of a sudden hearing, you should get a nose job. <laughs> <laughs> And then I was like, I don't want one. She's like, all right, but if you want one. <laughs> but I know. Your own mother. My mother just staring at my profile going, that's not a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> we were yeah. like 14. We were very young. My, yeah. uh, my, one of my buddies and Jennifer were dating and we had breakfast. Yeah, let's... Yeah. <laughs> so you were friends before friends. We even. were friends before friends. And we wanted Aniston to be on the show with us. I remember being on the ninth floor where Lauren Michaels' mm -hmm. office was and seeing Jen come in. I was like, oh my God, there's Aniston. Is she about to be on our show? Her going in, having uh -huh. a talk, leaving. And I was like, wow, I'm going to be working with Aniston. And then just going, she said no. She said no. Aniston. She's going to do that. Friends? What the hell is friends? <laughs> Gorgeous, Jackie, yes. and then that's the, you know. Well, it well, listen, it works. Yeah, I was at their wedding, and it, they never stopped being madly in love with each other. So it just goes to show you don't judge a book by that cover. No, no. <laughs> when are you gonna have a baby? That's Jennifer Aniston on Saturday Night Live. What are you gonna do when Friends is over? When are you gonna have a baby? You said after Friends, I'm gonna have children. Yeah. You know, who knows? We'd definitely love to have had two, at least. It doesn't feel good to, to harbor anger and resentment. And there is, we, we do have tools to work through stuff. Everybody does. I haven't lost a child to, to, the, to war. I haven't lost my home to some natural disaster. I have, this is something that's mending, hearts mend. There's a lot of talk and body shaming, Jennifer. Jennifer, there's a lot of talk and body shaming. I got that out of the book she wrote. Oh, Jesus, I never looked at it. Look at those others. Wow. I never saw this. <laughs> Sorry. What's the sentence you most like to hear her say? Oh, I'm sorry. 
you know, listening to you talking, everything you've said so far makes me think that forgiving your mom, you're just about there. I... What's your fondest memory in the business, in the industry? Uh, I would have to say working with Adam Sandler. It was nice to bring pleasure to Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> what was the last thing that really upset you? Something in the business? Adam Sandler. How do you like to have fun when you're off the set? We go to Aniston's house a lot. Lately. Come over. She makes my pizzas. House. We have pizza night. She play gives pool. us M and M's. Watch games. Sports. She has a lot of nice TVs. I hide in one of her rooms. Every time we're with Jennifer, something great happens because she's very. Everybody loves Jennifer, and uh, I tend to stay at home and do nothing. And my wife is so much going. Why didn't I marry Aniston? Why am I stuck with you, man? <laughs> Jennifer always, when there's water around, loves going. Adam, watch this. And she holds her nose and does a jump in the water, and she comes up, and then she does different characters' voices. She's like, hey, I'm a mermaid, <laughs> right? Do it for him. <laughs> what did you put in his after lunch you coffee? You dress right at him. Good. One of the biggest snorers you'll ever hear. You are. You are. I was pointing at you. Oh, don't do that. That's projection. I don't <laughs> snore. And you guys love each other. Is that yeah. is that fair to say? For sure. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. I hear each of you individually talking about the other in such fond terminology. Yeah. Very. Uh, she's the best. It must best. have been fam like real family in, a, in another way. You know, we all have varying degrees of loss and sadness and pain in our lives, and it's. It's a necessity, honestly, because then how would we appreciate the, the good times and the, the, the hopeful times? And it's a personal choice to, to get up and move on, be better. If you had to go back and talk to your teen self, your 20-year-old self, what, would, <laughs> what was your... Oh, uh, immediately I'd get that nose job. <laughs> <laughs> she was right, Mama was right.